Hey everybody, my name is Miss Laura, Laura Price. I am the Youth Services Librarian at the Bartlesville Public Library. So I was asked by my friends at Wayside Elementary to make a video for their librarian, Mrs. Hickson, to show, um, to show the students about our summer reading program that's coming up. And I decided to just kind of put this video out there on our Facebook Live for everyone if you would like to hear information about our summer reading program. So first I wanna give a big shout out and a big hello and a big blow kiss mwah, to my friends at Wayside. Hello Wayside Warriors. Okay, this summer is Oceans of Possibilities at the Bartlesville Public Library. You may have received a paper, a flyer that looks like this at school, or you may have picked one up at the public library. This has all the information you need about how to use the Beanstack app to participate in our summer reading program this year. So the program begins on June 6th, but you can sign up now, anytime between now and June 6th. Um, what you do is download the free Beanstack app or you go to the Beanstack website. That information is on this flyer. It's also on our website and social media. You create an account and you join the Oceans of Possibilities Summer Reading Program. Now, I wanna let you know that this isn't just for kids. This is for everyone. You'll see on the flyer, we have four age categories, zero to five, first through fifth grade, sixth through 12th grade, and adults and we have challenges and events and cool prizes for everyone. This is all free. You can participate even if you don't happen to have a library card with the Bartlesville Public Library. This is for everyone. So, now if you have participated in a BPL Beanstack program before, you probably already still, you still already have an account, a B, uh, Beanstack account. I'm sorry, I'm live, I'm stumbling. Um, you just log into your same account with your username and password and the Oceans of Possibilities uh, program will be up and you can sign up for that. Now this Beanstack is where you will sign up and it is also where beginning on June 6th, you will go to log in your reading, um, see what the weekly activity challenge is, see what special event we have going on that week. All this is done through Beanstack. It's a lot of fun. It's kind of like a, a game, you know. Um, so the first thing that we ask, that we challenge you to do is to read or be read to for 100 minutes per week. That sounds like a lot, but it's not very much at all. I know you kids in school are supposed to try to read 20 minutes a day during the week. Well, if you read 20 minutes on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, there's your 100 minutes. So we ask that you read for 100 minutes per week or be read to if you're not quite reading on your own yet. For doing that, you'll click a little thing in the app and you will earn a virtual badge. And along with this badge comes two virtual prize tickets. For each age category, we will have three grand prize drawings at the end of the program. So as you're earning your weekly virtual tickets uh, throughout the program, you can use the app to enter those into the prize drawings of your choice. So there are other ways to earn virtual tickets too. Um, for a couple of the age groups, there are weekly activity challenges on the Beanstack app. And they're all things that you can do at home, they don't cost any money, and they're fun. For instance, since our theme is Oceans of Possibilities, one of the weekly activity challenges play in the water this week. And that could be in an ocean, if you're going to on a trip to the ocean, it could be in the lake, it could be a swimming pool, or a little wading pool, or in the sprinklers, or with water guns and shooters, it, it could be in the bathtub. You know, play in the water this week. That's one of the weekly activities. And if you do that and click the, click the little thing on Beanstack, you will earn another prize ticket. Okay, so we have something fun for you to do each week. You can also earn virtual prize tickets by attending uh, events at the library. We will continue with our weekly uh, story time schedule for the little tots, but we also have a special weekly event for kids and a weekly event for teens. And 
some of the flyers, not all of them, the ones you can pick up at the library have the schedule of events on the back. And I'm just going to run down them real quick. Uh, we have story time for babies, toddlers, and preschoolers every Wednesday and Thursday morning. For kids, first through fifth grade, and that's going to be you wayside kids that I'm talking to, we have a couple of entertainment shows. We have 20,000 Laughs Under the Sea featuring Will Stuck. We have uh, Uncharted Waters by Finer Arts Oklahoma. We have a magic show. We have a traveling insect adventure. There's a place called the OSU Extension Office, and they do a lot of cool things. They're going to bring big insects to the library where we can look at them and learn about them, and some of us may be brave enough to touch them. That's gonna be fun. That one actually requires tickets and the tickets will be available two weeks before the program. We're gonna have a city touch the trucks day over at the community center parking lot. Um, some of the trucks and vehicles that work for our city are vehicles from the fire department, the police department, the garbage trucks that come and pick up our trash, street cleaners, dump trucks, bulldozers. We're gonna have all those parked over at the community center for you to look at and climb in and ask questions about. This summer, our local children's musical theater is uh, putting on, are you ready? SpongeBob the Musical. Well, some of their cast is going to visit the library for one of our weekly summer events in costume. They're gonna perform for us and talk all about what it's like to be in the theater, theater even, either on stage or even behind the scenes. It takes a lot of people to put a show together. And then we're gonna have balloon artist Rob Holiday. So he does, you know, he makes the animals and all that stuff, but he goes above and beyond that. Last time he was here, he had a giant sized balloon that he completely crawled inside of. I hope he does it again when he comes this summer. So those are all the children's events. Um, I'm gonna run down the teen events real quick. We have some arts and craft things like making your own journal cover, uh, fancy painted rocks and shells. You're gonna learn how to do fondant cupcake toppers, how to make sushi. We have a game truck coming, a big giant bus truck thing full of video games. It's going to park at the library and you can sign up for sessions to go in and play video games. A painting class with pizza and a forensics workshop with the Museum of Osteology. So if you know anyone or you are someone who is sixth grade through twelfth grade, those are the events that we have for teens along with the reading logs and weekly activities and everything. So in library land we consider teens middle school and high school going into middle school or high school. Now, the very last event is for all ages, babies and toddlers and children and teens and adults, everyone who participated in the summer reading program. It's going to be the grand finale pool party at Frontier Pool. We get the pool all to ourselves for a couple hours and this is also where we will, excuse me, announce the prize winners and give out the prizes. Now, if you win a prize drawing, but you can't make it to the, um, I always get asked this, if you win a prize and can't make it to the pool party, I promise we won't give your prize to anyone else. We will get a hold of you by phone or email or somehow and make sure you get your prize. So, speaking of prizes, I wanted to just show you real quick. These are some of the prizes for the younger kids. And these are some of the prizes for the teenagers and adults. Pretty cool, huh? So just to uh, kind of recap, this summer beginning June 6th, Oceans of Possibilities at Bartlesville Public Library. You can sign up anytime on the Beanstack app or the Beanstack website and starting June 6th, you get on there each week and log in your 100 minutes of reading, see what the weekly activity challenge is. I think the adults can uh, submit some book reviews to earn prize tickets. You, I forgot to tell you, you even get a prize ticket for signing up that you can enter into one of the drawings. Okay, if you have any questions or have any troubles logging in or signing up, just call us or come by the library and we can help you. Then on the back is our schedule of weekly events ending with the pool party. It's going to be so much fun. I can't wait to see you guys. Uh, thank you for listening. 
Uh, I hope to see you all this summer. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.